So guess who took their camera to work and left the battery on the charger at home? This guy. So I am home right now on lunch break and just hanging out with the dogs and gonna grab some lunch and then we're gonna go back to work for a few more hours. So of course, um, working at a running store, most of what we sell is, you know, shoes and apparel, but we do, of course, carry other things. And today, uh, a rep brought by some boxers. So try these out and see how they are and report back because I know you wanted to know. Tonight, Cordy made it. It's uh, Asian, not Asian rice, like white rice, Asian vegetables, and teriyaki. Pretty easy, simple vegetarian meal. Always make your food spicy. As a kid, don't you don't have to always do that, but I like to. I'm headed to the store to go get some coffee for tomorrow's Espresso Friday and I think Courtney has been hiding snacks in her car. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> There's no one in that car and it the the Doors just open. No one's sitting. No one's in there. So just get back to the car from the grocery store, and that car door was still still open. I mean, I wasn't in there that long, but it's kind of weird, right? So I was able to grab some coffee for tomorrow, and I always buy whole bean coffee because I just grind it fresh. Lately, I've been buying. Buddy Brew Coffee, which is actually a roaster in Tampa. So it's like, I don't know, two and a half hours from here. And they, they make really good coffee. And usually like when I buy it, it's been roasted within like, I don't know, the past week or so. Really good for buying it at a, a Publix, you know, a chain grocery store. So really, really great option. But uh, my friend Katie, she told me today that they were, they had marked it all down 50% um, off, which usually $15 for a bag of that stuff so it is a little pricey but it's really good quality the bad part is it's all gone there was none in there and I it's probably a bad probably bad news because that probably means they're getting rid of it they're not going to continue carrying anymore which is bad for me because now I'm gonna have to find out where to get some good coffee uh, either locally or start ordering it which ordering sucks because you pay for shipping but I was able to find one bag of it, so it, usually like it wasn't on the, the regular aisle, it was all cleared out, but Publix has this like little clearance um, shelf where sometimes they put like products that are like about to go out of date or um, you know just they're getting rid of whatever. So I found one bag there, so it was half price, $7.50, which like I said, good price for the coffee bad part though was that the roast date on this one was September 2019 so that's almost seven months ago now which yeah definitely not the freshest um, so I'm really hoping that that bag was like nitro flushed and you know really holding the freshness in so I bought another brand also I think it was called Wicked Joe's or Wicked Joe and I've never had it before. It says it's organic, fair trade. It's all, those are just buzzwords. They pay for those. But we'll try it out. We'll see how, how it is. The other thing I didn't mention was that when I was in Publix, the cashier asked me how I did my hair. So I've been doing my hair like this for a while, so I'm just like used to doing it. My friends make fun of me for using a blow dryer, but 
that's that's typically how I do my hair. Um, I use like a matte, uh, a matte clay, which holds really nice, doesn't have that crunchy feeling um, to it, and it holds my hair pretty well. Um, I have pretty thick hair, so as long as I keep my hair like, you know, short-ish, it holds pretty good. So, thank you Cam at Old Florida Barbershop. So these are the coffees we got. This is that Wicked Joe I was telling you about. Organic Fair Trade Bella Maria, which, where is Bella Maria? Is that a place? Doesn't really say where it's from. I don't like that. But this is the uh, the Buddy Brew that I was saying I got at, on discount. Super stoked on that, but really pumped that it means it probably, they probably won't be carrying anymore. Really good coffee out of Tampa. Check it out if you ever get the chance to go out there.